Hey champions! Fake Tariff is here, author of Choreography of Awakening, performance mastery coach and owner and president of Make the Impossible Possible. Today we're going to continue with the lesson 5, Lessons from the Ring. And before I'm going to begin, I want to make a couple of announcements. One, Happy Thanksgiving! And because it's Thanksgiving and I wanted to do something special and I wanted to thank you for coming here and giving me your attention and giving me a little bit of your time, spending this time together with me, I want to give you a little gift. And my gift to you is you can go to the Amazon.com and you can download my book on Kindle for free. And it's just a Thanksgiving special. It's going to be available to, uh, tomorrow, on Thursday through Sunday. Please get the book, share it with your friends, with your family. It's free to download. It's my thank you for being my fans and for coming in here and working on yourself. And really want to acknowledge you for taking this time for you. All right. Now I would like to recap on the other lessons that we had so far. So lesson one, we were talking about the vision. Lesson two, we were talking about fundamentals. How important it is to practice the fundamentals in order to succeed. In lesson three, we were talking about perseverance. Did any one of you meet a champion who only trained Three minutes per day? Probably not. And lesson four was about confidence. How important to have confidence in our life and how to get it. What is it? Today is a lesson five. And it's about time. Did I say it's about time? I did, didn't I? Because it's about time. Okay, we will all agree that there are plenty of books about how to manage time. We have the journals, we have apps, we have books, we have programs. Everyone is talking about managing time. Yes? Do you have that issue? I know I do. So what is time? Can we manage time? Well, first, let's talk about time. What is it? I think we cannot manage time. Whenever we try to manage time, it's an illusion because time just is. So what we can manage is our thoughts about time or our emotions about time, our perception of time, but not time itself. Yes, we hear people talk about slowing down the time or speeding up the time. But do we really slow it down or speed it up? Or is it just our perception, an illusion that we have? Do we have less of time or more of time? It's all relative, right? When we're playing something fun, time goes so fast, we don't even notice. But when it's something boring, it goes so slow. But really, it's all the same thing. So one day, I was thinking about that too. How I create a schedule for myself and I have it all written down and I should be able to complete everything. And then I just ran out of time. So it's okay because I'm going to catch up tomorrow. But tomorrow, I run out of time again. And then I run out of time again. And then before I know it, there is a list this big and I can't catch up. And now I start feeling, <sighs> anyone experience that? Say yes, I know you have, even if you're saying no. So I started thinking about back at the time when I was coaching skating. And suddenly, it was so clear to me that when I go to nationals with my students, 
and I only have 20 minutes to prepare them for the event they're going to be competing at. Because at nationals and international competitions, they give athletes 20 minutes to practice. Now my students practice five hours a day. You know, they have spins, they have jumps, they have choreography, they have programs, they have endurance, they have stroking, they have so many things to work on, and they only have five times a day to do that. But now we're at the competition at nationals, and we only have 20 minutes. So my dilemma was, how do I prepare my athlete and make them feel as if they've done everything in the 20 minutes and felt good about themselves? And this is what happens. The skater comes to the ring, they do a jump, they make a mistake, what do they do? They repeat that jump again. They make a mistake, they repeat it again, and they repeat it until they start doing well. Well, in that 20 minutes at nationals, they can't repeat that over and over again. We have 12 elements in our program. If you're going to continue repeating the same element over and over and over again, guess what happens? You only got to practice one element. You have 12 to compete with. What do you think you're going to feel like if you only got to practice one? So managing time became really, really strategic thing. And I had to think about how can I help my skater? And this is what I came to. You're only allowed to do one element. And if you made a mistake, you have to move on to the next one. And if you made a mistake, you have to move on to the next one, and you just keep moving. And at first, my athletes, they were going, and I can't move, I have to make sure that I fix this. Well, honey, we don't have time to fix anything, just do this and then next. And I had to stay very focused, and very clear, and very calm. And so I invite you to look at the way you are working with your time. Can you leave the task you're on because you run out of the allocated time for it? Like let's say you have to send emails and you give yourself 20 minutes to do that. And then you have to do another task. And then your 20 minutes is about up. And you're like, well, but I still have like several more to write. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I'll finish that and then move on. And as we're going along, guess what happens? You finish one task, and then you're moving on to the next, and then you don't have time for anything else because it's finished. The day is over. So I invite you to manage your emotions. You can control time, but you can't control your emotions. Can you commit yourself? to a specific, limited amount of time to doing something. Really focus on it completely, 100%. And when that timer goes, zing, you let it go and you move on to the next. And you manage your emotions and you watch how you feel like, ah, 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 ah this feeling, you have to go, honey. Just come to the present and just relax and just do the next task. That's what you want to manage. You want to manage your emotions. You want to manage your mind, your thoughts. And guess what? At the end of the day, you have completed each of your tasks. Maybe not completely, but to some degree. And then tomorrow, you will do the same thing again, and you're going to start building your list, and you're going to be able to move forward and finish everything. I know you can do it. This is lesson five. And this is Fake It Harriet, and I am looking forward to see you for the lesson six, which would 
don't want to miss because I'm going to be talking about mentorship. How important is to have a mentor and not just a mentor, but the right mentor. You don't want to miss that. So I'll see you for the lesson six after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Please come and visit my website at www.choreographyofawakening.com and please subscribe to this channel. There is a button below. Click like and leave me a comment. I'll see you after Thanksgiving. Ciao.